the main problem for the LGBT community was visibility because of the lies and myths and innuendos about LGBT people. And he said that if we are not known, if people do not know us, we will never, if we're not visible, we will never have equality. Now, he also knew that the first of any type of movement in the civil rights trajectory of the United States usually ends up with bullets. And so it wasn't a Hollywood invention. You'll see in the film that he predicted his own assassination and recorded three recordings of what should happen in the event that he is killed. So. Hey guys, a bit of a different change of scene here because we're in the bedroom. Uh, we've got this massive uh, superhero force around me, which was a present from a friend at university back, way back when. And uh, the reason I'm in here today is because I'm about to go into the office and work. I haven't been to work yet and I spent the whole of yesterday pretty much in bed because I just came down with this book. There's a book gone around and a few, a lot of people around the country have been talking about it where it just makes you so incredibly tired and clouds your head. It's like a head cold when you don't get the mucus. It's weird. So I had that, but I slept it all off yesterday by spending 12 hours in bed. My goodness. I don't like it when that happens, but sometimes it gets it over and done with quick. So, anyway, I, the only thing I've done today so far is pop out to get a kind of monster to keep me going. It's really not good for you, but sometimes it works. So I did that and went into a charity shop. Now, there were no games, sadly, but I did get a load of manga. So let's take a look at that. As you can see here, we just got uh, Kimini Todoke 1 to 10 complete set there for 1 to 10 and a lot of fruits basket. Now fruits basket's not as complete. We have uh, 1 to 8 and then 10 up to uh, about f 14 or something like that and then a few extras. So I think someone's taken a few out or they just never had them. Oh and we also got uh, one of Oran High School Horse Club and that's quite interesting as well so that's quite cool. But uh, a bit of light reading now. They will be looked at on Monday Book Club, but not right away. Right, now, I've got something this evening to go to. Uh, well, if, I suppose just before evening. And I've got a lot of work to do. So basically, today is going to be work, work, work. I better get straight to it. Here's the thing, I've just finished the uh, write-up for the Monday Book Club after doing the, uh, what's the comment? I'm losing my ability to speak, it's weird. I don't think I'm fully recovered from what knocked me over yesterday. But I've finished the comic today, done the script for the Monday Book Club, reviewing Ghostbusters, the novelization, the novelization of the new film, 
very thick book, surprisingly. And now I've just got to do the uh, intro and outro for that for the Monday Book Club. I've already recorded the uh, main review. So it's basically record the intro, record the outro, then get a few shots of the book, compare it to the shots of the original Ghostbusters novelization, and put it together. Once that's done, I actually get on to get on with other things. But given that it's just quarter past one, I'm actually doing quite well, all things considered, in terms of what I've got through today. So. It is a long day, it's a lot of work to do, but we're getting through it quite quickly, so hopefully that'll keep up. Let's get to it. I don't know if it's because this is the wrong author for the project. Having never read any other books by Nancy Hoarder doesn't really give me anything to make that decision based on, or whether she was just handed a bad script, which is quite likely given the amount of material that was clearly cut from the film. But whatever the reason is, this is a novelization that is only going to be of interest to people who, like me, come into these things to compare them to what they saw on screen. You know the old song, oh the weather outside is frightful, they're talking about today. Look at the weather, ridiculous. And to think that uh, earlier on, the weather reports were saying it wasn't going to rain. This was not a day to wear trainers that are made out mostly out of mesh. <laughs> I'm not dressed for this weather. Okay, we're down in town again and uh, I've got a few minutes before we have to go to this LGBT event. So I'm going to quickly make a phone call and check my emails as I do. I've been checking them on the phone all day but sometimes Looking at the bigger screen that you can check everything on better is better. So quickly do that. And then we're off to an interesting LGBT event, which should be fun. Well, thank you for turning out this evening. I've been told the weather is atrocious, but I've not been outside for about four hours. So I've no idea. Um, I'm really pleased this event has come off. It's a really special event for Bolton. And I hope the first of many more events to come throughout the year, not just in LGBT history month. When my uncle began his crusade, to run for public office in San Francisco. I was in New York. By the way, Harvey only lived six years in San Francisco. So everyone thinks that he's spent his whole life there. It was New York that he spent most of his life. Uh, Harvey, uh, when he began running for public office when I was um, 14, um, the headline of the New York Times was about homosexual runs again. Um, the headline of the paper on Long Island, where I grew up, was Deviant Runs Again. Milk is not a common name. So just think how a gay kid, adolescent felt, who was hiding or trying to hide my own sexuality, having this famous openly gay uncle, who, by the way, was running when it was illegal to be LGBT. And it was still considered a mental illness by the American Psychological and Psychiatric community. In fact, they were still doing lobotomies for gay people in California and throughout the United States. Now, it wasn't simply that Harvey was, yes, I'm gay, let's not talk about it. It was, I'm gay and we're going to talk about it. And um, so he was not the first openly gay person elected to public office in the United States. Um, he was the first elected to a major public office, and he was the first to talk about it and to ask people to join him to come out. Okay, guys, it's been a long, long day. It's uh, now five minutes to ten. I'm still at work. We've got back from, Jenny and I, I've got back from, where are you, Jen? There she is. See, she does exist. Jen and I have got back from the uh, event we were at with LGBT History Month, and it was a very interesting uh, event, uh, the, especially the talk by Stuart Milk. Uh, I think it was probably the, the nephew, of... nephew of Harvey Milk, the, yeah. the first uh, openly gay uh, elected uh, official for California. I think for, in all of America, I think it was. He? Quite possibly all of America, yeah. but certainly California. I'm... Not really with it at the moment. I'm falling asleep on my feet. It's just ridiculous mm. the amount of work we're doing at the moment. But it was worth it going to that. He was a fantastic speaker and see why he's been so influential. And it was a very good event. I wasn't keen on one of the women from the LGBT, uh, was it the Proud Trust or whatever, who decided to try and slip in a rant on Brexit into LGBT History Month. That's yeah. not what we're there for. That was inappropriate. And she was factually incorrect on pretty much everything she said anyway. So I was very annoyed. I... At one point I thought, if she continues, I'm going to get up and walk out. Thankfully she uh, came to her senses and got back on topic, so that didn't happen, but it was very annoying. Anyway, it was a very good, a very good uh, evening. 
Yeah. You can tell I'm not entirely yeah, together. Yeah, we can all tell that yeah. you need a bit of sleep. And also, so he's suffering at the moment with uh, illness, giving you like stabbing pains in your back. So we need to get it checked yeah. out. Yeah. Let's not talk about that too much. Yeah. Anyway, we've still got a lot more work to do because Jen's video for today needs to go up. So I've got to mm -hmm. actually process a lot of videos, which is what we're doing now on there and on the Big Mac and then edit them up together. And then after that, I am going to bed. But I want to talk about the uh, game haul we got because we have finally got to 1,000 PS2 games and I am so happy. And also, we got another one for the Xbox uh, Exclusives Collection. Let's start with that one. You need to have a drum roll <clears throat> or something inserted in there. Da -dum <laughs> but here we are. Uh, Quantum Redshift, the Xbox exclusive one. I thought I had it, but then I realised that I'm thinking of Zero. Was it Extreme G Racing on the uh, PlayStation 2? It's all here in good condition. I've looked out on the manuals, it's been great. So they're in good condition. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. We'll wait and see how good it is. I'm just putting that down there. I really don't feel well Hand today. them to me. I'll deal with them. Okay, you, you take that. I'll deal with them. So let's move on to the four that we needed for the PlayStation uh, collection up to 1000. And let's start with the one that's got a really good condition cover. NHL Hits 2002. I'm assuming it's supposed to be 2002. But it says on the on the side twenty or two. Really, really good condition. This looks like it's been either hardly used or used with love and care and attention. Oh, hardly used. That's how it is. Right, uh, we've got a receipt in here. So what's this? No, it's not a receipt. It's the extra gubbins. The thing is, though, hardly used sometimes is a seal of this is a rubbish game. <laughs> well, yeah, good condition manual, nice condition disc. I'm really, really happy to add that to the collection. I love my hockey games. Absolutely love hockey. It's my favourite sport, so I'm very happy to have that. Now, next one up, another one in pretty good condition. It's just come into CEX as well. We can tell because we were hunting them the other day and it wasn't there. SSX3, finally finished the SSX series. Pretty good condition. There's a dint just there, but we'll, we'll make do. Again, the manual and the extra gubbins are here. This one's been used a lot, so... That's pretty good to have that there. Hang on. Is that another manual? No, it's the EA Extras Bump. Two copies of the Extras Bump for the EA catalogue. You can probably tell from my voice that I'm running out of speed and all sorts now. <sighs> this next one I've wanted since it was released. Back, back then I didn't have a job because I'd uh, been illegally fired at the time. And I couldn't afford it. I couldn't justify games when I have no work. But now I can, and I've finally got it. Because the weird thing is, when I got back on my feet after that, after the unlawful dismissal, uh, it wasn't available anymore, so it never came up. This is the first time I've seen it on the PS2 in, like, years. So I finally got it. It's Rogue Trooper, and I'm really happy to have it, and I'm going to be enjoying this one, regardless of what quality it is, because I've wanted to play it for so long. So I'm going to be enjoying that. And it's all here again, good condition. So I'm very happy to have added that to the collection. And now, the final one, the one that gets us to 1,000. What is it? It's another one in good condition, from, based on the case, Headhunter Redemption. Don't know about it, don't know much about it. We've got Headhunter, so this, this is the sequel, and I'm very happy to have it. And again, the manuals here, all in great condition. Very, very happy to have this. So, now I'm going to get back to editing. Hopefully, the part of the video that I need to edit has been processed. It'd be nice to get uh, all of this done. It's a long, long day, then I'm off to bed, so see you tomorrow. Do you want to say bye as well, Jen? Bye, Jen. <laughs> see you later, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time here on this awesome channel. You really need to watch it, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and tell, the, tell her I sent you. Thanks, Jen. <laughs>